Normally, I'd say that's a lot of money, but in this case, I don't think it is. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought we had one more day for the event, so kinda missed out on some stuff there. But we get a Time Warp Express and a Tier 7 Trophy, which is presumably 6 tiers higher than Trophy 1 and 35 Mega Bucks. That's actually gonna put us pretty close to Mars. Now, what do we do with this idiot? I really, really don't want to do anything with Earth right now, so I'm basically gonna upgrade the more expensive things, but also do the upgrades here for the more expensive things. Like increasing our Angel Investor effectiveness by by 1%. That's hopefully going to make a pretty big difference and then eco safe. Oh, actually this one first. All profits times 3. So this guy's now making a 16 quadrillion dollars every cycle, which is considerably more than it was making before. Even this one's up to 55 billion dollars every 2 seconds. Make that 110. We could restart it soon, but it needs to build up a lot more before we're going to get any use out of those angels. And we're up to $74. We just need a few more for Mars. So the moon, while we've been gone, has earned us 1.338 octo trigantillion, which is probably a pretty big number. And we can only afford to upgrades for a few businesses because they're that expensive. But before we do anything, let's maybe take a look at what we can upgrade. Because free crepe Thursdays just sounds like a lot of fun, but also it increases all of our profits by 9 times. So that's the obvious one to start with. Then I'm looking the oxygen bar because it makes 722 quintrigantillion a second. That's my most expensive business. After that, we're making 708 septentrigantillion, and this number is moving again. And on top of that, we're going to multiply its profits by 11 times on top of all that. So now we're up to 3.5 novem trigantillion, which I think is a bigger number than what we started with just because we had so many cool upgrades. Then let's upgrade this guy and then maybe the werewolf farm. I don't think these two matter as much. These three matter as much, but we're going to upgrade them anyway because we're rich. What are the angels like these days? We currently have 631 quindecillion and we could exchange for 16 septendecillion. So that's a much much bigger number. But before we do that, let's buy all the upgrades we can and then we're going to sit there and wait to save up just a few more angels because that number is moving pretty quickly. And if I trade in all my money, I can afford another 5 mega bucks. And if we had only just a few more angels right now, I could get 9 times profit on top of what we have now. So next time, we're going to get much bigger profits. You'd think by now, after all this time and all these zeros, we'd be close to the bottom of what we can upgrade, but there's still tons and tons and tons more to go, and I'm very happy about that because I'm working towards all profits times 999. So let's go ahead and trade these in because if I trade those in, I'll be making much more profit than I am even now. We do have to start from the beginning, but our very first click on the boots gets a 626 six septendecillion. So I'm going to buy Max for quite a while as soon as he's been businesses start going, I'll be ridiculously rich. I mean, we could probably watch it jump at light speed through the different upgrades and everything as we go, the different sizes of money, but you know the drill. Then of course we needed all the upgrades, but I'm just going to use a magic button and my auto clicker to cycle through them all. Then the amount of money is going to get bigger and bigger and that never stops being satisfying. And we can't forget the angels, so we can safely buy a hundred sextacillion worth of angels. And then we can see what's left after that. Some of these might be worth it, like 50 levels of oxygen bar for five Except 10 decillion angels could be worth it because that's not a great deal that might be worth it but this is also me and you should never listen to me about anything ever look at this word unquadragontillion cool i want one of those how much money do we start at i'm pretty sure it's smaller than this number actually the angels will let us know right away yep we definitely have more money now because we're at 150 octodecillion which is more than e40 septendecillion by a large margin and after upgrading my laser business it's almost at maximum speed so the oxygen bar is still the most profitable at 432 novem trigantillion every fraction of a second oh and i forgot about the extra weird managers we're gonna buy all them because that's really gonna help show us our cash per second so it looks like it's still our oxygen bar in the lead but a few of the other usual suspects are also making us stupid amounts of money every time i open this menu it's a bunch of orange again to buy so we're starting to make progress at a pretty good rate do i have enough for mars yet it's probably still gonna take a little while we're up to eight dollars though now for the upgrade to werewolves another 300 levels and i think we might as well restart considering this number is already like a thousand times bigger than our current amounts of angels yeah let's do it that number is going up fast but this will be even faster ultimately and at 11 novem decillion per click i could just do this and probably still make a ton of money. But I want to make idiots do all the work for me. So now to save by the angels, it's going to cost 5.5 octodecillion. And that's going to leave us with a few interesting choices. If I sacrifice half my angels, I do get all profits times three. And I'm not sure if that's worth it because that's going to give me a healthy amount of profit. But next time though, our next boost is going to give us times three and times nine. And I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure it means a lot more money. We now have Trey Quadragantillion and 
that soon to be a uh, quadro quadra gentilian, which means we get all profits times nine. I'm just sitting here and waiting for money. What I've always wanted. And our angels are skyrocketing at this point. They're going up even faster than last time. And this is a much bigger number than last time. It's all in the oxygen bar. Okay, so in the 15 minutes that I've been away from Earth, we've made 50 quadrillion dollars. Or enough for an incredible 2,557 angels. Instead of doing that, I'm going to upgrade my hockey team because that's much more exciting. But at least that's making 1.3 trillion dollars every three seconds. Just like any good hockey team should. Now, the moon, on the other hand, is still skyrocketing we're up to 48 whatever that is which means the angels are up to 1.2 vigantillion or enough for 10 of these dollars so we're gonna take those that puts us up to 84 then we're gonna restart again because more angels equals more profit 21 vigantillion dollars these numbers are growing so quickly that it's actually ridiculous so i'm gonna quick buy my way through these as quick as i can but then the angels 1.3 novemdecillion for the quick buy and we're not really left with any options after that so that works out kind of nicely that means i have a lot of money to make and I I can't even keep up with this. Every time I quick buy, they light up so orange again that it's right away. Or maybe not. We get to upgrade our laser again. And we get 30 gold for that. That's actually a really big reward. I could definitely waste that summer fun. And we're only two upgrades away from the oxygen bar for easy breathers. I don't know what those are, but they're awfully expensive. And we already hit a new number for our angel investors. Oh, I forgot about these idiots again. I somehow always forget about these, despite the fact they look like this. Pretty soon, we will have level 3000 werewolves. I clicked on the warps to see, like, what options it would give me i forgot that it just kind of does it so we just wasted a warp there the number is now called nine sept quadrigantillion and i'm probably definitely pronouncing that correctly let's first of all see how much money we're gonna get for all this money we can buy another three dollars that's actually pretty huge because that puts me a lot closer to mars i've never really taken a close look at these angels but i like them which is exactly why we're going to sacrifice them for 24 unvigantillion one click 388 unvigantillion dollars and then my quick buy my safe buy for the angels is 200 vigantillion of them that's a number that i didn't even know existed until i started playing this game now we're sacrificing angels on them and i'm going to assume this is worth it one unvigantillion angels for all profits times three we have 24 of them total that's probably fine and that's a philosophy i live my life by that's probably fine. Then I just need to patiently work my way through the upgrades, though we might already be pretty close to our limit. Judging by the amount of angels, I would say that's pretty accurate. And after upgrading my laser thing, that's finally on full speed ahead. So now everything is working at max speed for maximum profit, and there is a lot of profit. I'm pretty sure this number is bigger than there are, like, anything in the entire universe. And we still got a ways to go, but we're actually getting closer. It's not too much further away. Unlike Earth, that doesn't ever want to make any money at all we could sit and wait but we're already going to get a hundred times more angels than we currently have and that's enough of a boost for me and i wasn't paying attention to how many angels i just spent but we could safely assume that it was a lot we're back maxed out and we're at quinn quagantillion for investors we're definitely up to a lot more angels than we have now and working our way higher every moment although this next level is actually going to be a little bit hard to gap up to because we only have 10 of these now we need a thousand total just to get the moon shoes. And the angels are going up, but not quite as quickly as I would like them to. So we're going to have to do a little bit of waiting. And spending as much money as we can on these dollars. We get another three at least. We're up to 90. Only 10 more to go. So that's only going to cost us that much money. And we have potentially another 51 to earn if we can actually get a centillion. But we'll see. Well, we're over 200 times the angels we have now. So let's go ahead and settle for that. I don't have time to wait. We've got money to make. The easy buy for angels is seven duo vigantillion. And we're going to spend this on the oxygen bar because that's always worth it. Oxygen bar is such a money maker that we have to buy it. Well, now those angels are going up at an incredible rate. But that's because we did all the upgrades we possibly could. With our most profitable business making 483 novem quagregantillion a second. Correction. The laser beam actually uh, overtook the oxygen bar it's making slightly more but between the two of them i feel like they're doing all right and i think the angels would agree with that and we can still get three times the profits out of the laser plus all profits times nine so between those two we just jumped our profit up a big amount oh plus another upgrade here 
So that's an even level 1000 for 50 gold. And again, the angels would agree because look at that number go up. It officially hit one Quato Vigantilium. Is that by chance enough for $10? No, but we can sure get $2 out of that deal, so I guess we'll take it. And then because the angel rate is slowing down, we're gonna go ahead and restart to push it even higher. So level one, our very first business with no upgrades is making me 25 Quato Vigantilium dollars a second. Actually, it's even quicker than that because it's basically as fast as I can click on it. And the angel upgrade is two Trey Vigantilium, which which brings us all the way up to here. Whatever this number is, is going up pretty quick and we can still afford actually a lot more upgrades. I was surprised, I thought we capped out. I do like what I'm seeing here. Werewolf colony times five. Next is lasers times five, then all profits times nine, then all profits times nine again. They're all such profitable businesses. I love each and every one of them. Does that say Quin Quin Quagantillion? It is stacking words now. And while well, we're at it, another all profits times nine for Harvest Moon, which is basically what I'm doing, plus the angels. They're still going up, so I'm gonna leave them be for a minute while we see how many dollars we can buy. Another three, which leaves us uh, within five of Mars. And that'll probably be two more angel sacrifices. Congratulations, you hit 100 of these things. Time to sacrifice you all in some horrible, brutal way. But you know what? Since we have the gold, let's just skip the restarting step because I'm going to be really, really lazy. But look at that number going up already. And I haven't even pressed this button yet. And that means we can afford another laser upgrade. Uh, two laser upgrades for some... Okay, are they just going up one level at a time? They are. That means we're getting close to the end. Yeah, I can tell something happened because I just got two achievements and the number of angels is going up again very quickly. And the bottom is near. It's right there. I can hit it with one flick of the mouse. Riding Hood Free Zone. We definitely need one of those. Next up is going to be lasers and then money. Watch this incredibly intelligent maneuver. Instead of buying the epic laser thing, I'm going to wait for this because that's going to unlock the laser really, really quick now. See, it's already ready to go basically right now. We're three quarters of the way there, counting down, and there it is. And you know the drill, more money than ever before, which means an angels are going faster than ever before. And that's earned us another $3. And we have the weird smiley clones up to level 6,000. Well, let's sacrifice some angels one more time. This time we're going right from the beginning. The safe angel upgrades costed whatever that was. It, they're going to get pretty expensive from here on out, but we're almost at the bottom of these. And there's more oxygen bar profits, so that means we're making pretty good money again. And there's another laser upgrade plus all profits times nine on top of all that and the upgrade bottom is right there and i'm pretty sure now that we have this much money we should be able to afford mars as long as we get at least two even three of those dollars we're gonna have one to spare we can finally buy mars so uh i'm just gonna let the moon run itself while we go explore an entirely new planet which comes with a rover romper helmet and i'm sure a few other mildly amusing things i probably should have paid more attention to what was happening Okay, so this is like a booster we can hit once in a while. We have a profit surge, but we'll do that after we actually make some money because we're making five cents a touch. Correction, one cent a touch. And our new clothing looks like it's going to boost Mars. I'm not going to put that on yet until I figure out exactly how far I want to go with Mars and what it's good for. I know I need to hit level 200 to make it hit its next level, so it's going to take a few minutes. And the managers are going to get expensive fast. $100 for Dirtwood Redsmith and 5000 for General Candy coats but at least now i have two things to click on and i'm obviously going to upgrade the bottom one because it's giving me six seven dollars every time now whereas this one's giving me 10 cents so it's a big difference it's already up to 29 35 40 dollars a touch and i can afford my first manager 100 dollars go to work it's slow to start but it's gonna add up i just realized the terraformer costs 13 septillion dollars so it's gonna be a minute before we make it there but i think i hit a bonus for the mars bar thing because we're up to 300 dollars a pull now does it $1,234 seem a little high for men. I guess they do make me $4,321 every green cycle, so that's actually going to add up quickly, and we could probably get a manager for our chocolate bars now. The next manager runs men for $10 million. We'll see if we get there. Although our Mars bar is about to hit a new level, so it's now making $1,663 every three seconds, and that's actually a lot of money right now. But if you quick upgrades into the men, and they're making $35,000 every 10 seconds, so that's... Well, never mind. They're up to about $100,000 every 10 seconds. That's just a satisfying part of this game. $177,000 every 10 seconds. So the upgrades really pay for themselves. So the next level for this is right there. That's only $22,000. Even the next upgrade is only two hundred ten. dollars So now it's making $11,000 basically every second. Well, there we go. Now that I upgraded those two, look at our money go up. This guy's still the most profitable, but the other two aren't that far behind. That should be enough for the final two levels. And now it's making $2.16 million every 10 seconds. 
Philippines. And with his next $2.2 million, we're going to have more than enough for the manager. So now they're going to save up some money. I need $23 million, so I'm going back to the moon for a bit. Which has earned me 6.4 unsexagentillion. Or this many angels, which we're going to claim. I'm going to simply claim for 20 gold, because I don't have time to deal with restarting anymore. And our numbers are already going up. We already have 10 times as many angels and probably 10 times as much profit overall. Buy everything we can. Plus probably some of these. They seem expensive, but if we get plus 300 cheese mine, that would actually be alarmingly expensive to buy otherwise. I don't actually know anymore what businesses are earning me the most. I assume it's the laser beam or the oxygen bar. Especially once I multiply oxygen bar profits times 15. That's going to give us a healthy push forward. I did just get another achievement, so I assume something good is happening. Once I hit 5 of it, Whatever these are, I'm going to restart again for extra profits. And we're just going to straight up go for it like this. Which, of course, is going to add some profits. Oh, we can't even buy the biggest one. All profits times five. Godspeed, you Grey Emperor. I don't know if we can afford that quite yet, but we'll probably buy most of the other ones. Because I'm not sure if times five profits is worth one-fifth of my angels, because they all boost things quite a lot themselves. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our rapidly rising angels, let them hit about 200. Then we're just going to restart again, because I can just do the same thing. And look at us go now. We'll have all the upgrades in no time. Plus, we can sacrifice the angels. Oh, and we're so close. We got one upgrade left to buy in the moon. Just one. And we can actually sit here and wait for it, because we're at 60 of the 100 we need and there's 65. Took a long time to get here but there it is. All profits times 999. So that number is going to go haywire along with all of the other ones. Look we can already afford a new upgrade here and these are probably all going to light up pretty quick because that's a lot of money. Plus we can finally do this. Quick buy all the upgrades for even more profit. I don't know how much money this is but it's a lot. This would be a great time for a warp. We made 579 whatever that said and the angel number has pretty much stopped moving so let's do a restart. I don't have 20 gold yet so let's start from the very beginning with more angels than we've ever had before by a large margin. 58 on Trigantillion. And just like that, we're right back to where we just were but making even more profit because we have even more angels. Plus a new oxygen bar upgrade. That's usually a pretty healthy boost along with whatever this guy is. And that by itself earns me 7 extra dollars which is a huge amount of money. And that is a really big number. So just imagine what we're going to be able to do with Mars. It saved up 132 million dollars while I was gone and it's going to earn a lot more than that by the next time we play.